as we set to make history here with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets presented by Toyota. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get dirty here at Millbridge Speedway. Gavin Moschel, Brian Wiedemann to set the pace. Green flag is out. Let's do it. Bochelle will slide up to the outside of turn number two as they are beating, banging, coming off turn two down the back straightaway. And the leader gets up into the fence. Wiedemann to the inside, the Earth Dog, 0-1 to the point. Again, Gavin Bochelle into the fence in turns one and two, and they will bang wheels down in turn number three. Brian Wiedemann still out front. Bochelle by a nose. Cannon Mack, Brendan Crouch, Kyle Jones, your top five as we got one upside down. So all cars come to a stop as Hoover ends up on all fours, and they will pick him up. Obviously, damage to that race car. Carson, or Larson, rather, I believe, was running around 17th when the caution came out. And it looks like the crew going to work or eyeballing the right rear of that race car. Two down, 28 to go. We are back underway here at Millbridge. Bo Shell still trying to knock the fence down as he runs in second, that black and white number five car. Cannon McIntosh, a little hiccup last time by in turns three and four. That allowed Brennan Crouch to get by as they battle for that third spot. Wiedemann gonna catch the tail end of this field as it looks like Bochelle with a little bit of a run there coming off turn two, able to pull away just a little bit though he slides high. Now Kasha comes out. We got them all stacked up over in turn two. 19 laps to go. Keep an eye on Gavin Bochel. Looks really good around the outside part of the racetrack. If he could keep, keep it off the wall. Wiedemann with a nice jump on the field. As we're back underway, Bochel again right to the outside part of the racetrack. Meanwhile, the 7U, Kyle Jones throwing sliders left and right. He moves into the fourth spot. Bochel still relentless up on top through turns one and two. May have a shot, almost gets into the rear bumper of your leader. Lap traffic could come into play. Relentless will not get off the top. Going to try and make it work, and he may have a chance. Here he goes down the back straightaway, almost contact, because we have caution on the track. Night number one of the debut season for the Extreme Outlaw Midgets presented by Toyota. Can Brian Wiedemann make history and become the first winner in this series here at Millbridge? Nine laps to go. Gavin Bochelle again. Oh, contact! Bochelle into the back bumper, and everybody gets stacked up over in turns three and four. Kyle Jones, nowhere to go. Gets turned over. We'll take a look at the big screen for a Dirt Vision replay. Contact right there between Bochelle and Wiedemann. Wiedemann up the track, Kyle Jones nowhere to go. And there's Kyle Jones coming in there to get the 0-1 and he gets upside down. Silverman gets hit once, twice. And lights out on the racetrack. Nine lap dash here at Millbridge, here we go. Green flag is out, we're back underway. Bo Shell right back up to the outside part of the racetrack. Nick Drake working low. Keep an eye on the Dominator, Zach Dom sits in third. Race right now is for second. Nick Drake, Zach Dom, Hoffman trying to get up there. Sam Johnson back there as well. 71M now making some moves. Brent Cruz trying to get it done and double up here tonight. Four to go this time by for Bochelle. Dom gets around Nick Drake for second. The Zach Dom. Have enough time, it'll be three laps this time by. And trouble on the back straightaway, caution lights will come on. Three lap dash here at Millbridge. Another great start for Gavin Bochel, and we are back underway. Bochel right to the outside part of the racetrack. No shocker there as the Dominator working down low, one of the best at running the low part of the racetrack. Two to go with the strike. Bochel around the outside. Beginning to pull away from Zach Dom. White flag is out, one to go here at Millbridge. Gavin Bochel out of Mooresville, North Carolina, down the back straightaway, works his way through turns three and four. He will make history as he wins the first ever Extreme Outlaw Midget Series event here at Millbridge. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, climbing out of car number five. Gavin Bochel gets it done here at Millbridge. 
Oh, it's definitely pretty cool. It's a really cool one in my home track, Melbourne, where I grew up at. You know, uh, these KKM guys gave me a great car, and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't ask for any better, but I didn't mean to get in the Bryant there. You know, uh, felt bad, but uh, I think he got a little in the rut, and I hit him, but just a racing deal. But I uh, definitely apologize to him, but, you know, I can't thank these guys enough to get the car out here. You know, it feels good. The beginning, I was kind of responding my line, finding my rhythm, and then it kind of just clicked, and I uh, started clicking those laps off one by one, you know, and uh, now you know I was up here.